full fat in Allegro. So we have this data sheet that shows the drawing of a connector and it uses a through hole pin. So all it is specifies is the size of the diameter of the hole at 39 mils or 0 0.039 it's it's 0 0.039 uh, uh, inches and th that's the size of the hole and then we need to have a pad around it is typically at least uh, 15 mils wide uh, pad around it S so you need to if you if you keep the pad too big then the gap between these two holes will fill up and will not allow any trace to go in between so it's a trade off between these two so we select we selected 60 mils as the size of the diameter of the pad around it so with these two dimensions in my now mind let's uh, start uh, doing this so what we do is we go to tools pad stack and uh, modify library pad stack and I just uh, take any pad that's here now this pad right now is SMT pad that I've taken to modify and then I'm going to save it as a different file name maybe something like uh, uh, something like 39rd60 basically it shows that 39 is the whole size and 60 is the pad size and then <coughs> the whole type I plated whole and I have a dimension of um, 39 in mils make sure that your units are in mils oh sorry it's 39 and then in the layers I do away with the solder paste paste mask layer and then in the bagging layer I have a regular pad size a circle of diameter 60 and then we have a solar mask which is like 4 mils wider than that so maybe 64 and that's it and then then you save to file and then you are done that's that's the simplest way to create a simple through hole SMT pad you can possibly if you do want to include a paste mask you can go ahead and create that as well it should be slightly smaller than 60 mils something like 56 mils is a good value and you can save that as well but it's not uh, very essential so hope that it helps you thanks for taking a look